The Hokies and the Wolfpack are ready to wrap up the first conference series of the season. Number 13, Virginia Tech hosts NC State from the ACC Network Extra. And a good win blast one to center field. Bree Peck calls for it. Easy enough inning for Emma Lemley. And who do you throw in? Because you have an entire dugout of people that seemingly can hit. The one into right. Goins is there and the side retired. Hopped up. And it calls for it. And the side is retired. Just missing it on a couple. Elsie Bennett, another pop up. And Marbury there again. So three up, three down go the Hokies in the second inning. Clonk off of the wall. That was a game that the Hokies likely felt comfortable in. And Emma Lemley was still fired up by the fact that that ball stayed in the yard and her teammate made a great play. I need to make another here. Tegan Thrunk able to back up on it and the side retired in order. Look at these two teams on paper. Look what Virginia Tech has done postseason wise and then realize that the season is pretty close. Well, the squeeze almost allowed Fagan to get on safely at first. It's a close play. But she'll take the sacrifice as Luco scores. Able to play. High fly ball out to left field. Ritter back. Runs out of space, and Pavlik ties it up with a home run. Pavlik definitely one of NC State's hitters. You have to be careful about her power. Not only has she now gained her third home run of the season, she leads her team in doubles as well. I am deep to left field. Goodbye. Jamie Bailey goes yard and puts the Hokies back up. It's three to one. And that consistency shows again. Jamie Bailey's powerful bat, big swing. Of the Pete DeMore administration over the last few years, but even before that, a lot of folks come out and migrate to Tech Softball Park in the spring. And that crowd certainly excited now. Also stay focused for the games in the middle of the week that are just as important as those in the conference play. This was the best fielding we've seen from NC State. Hard hit balls from the Hokies. Tying run at the plate for NC State. 1-1. Runner to second, what a throw by Aldridge, and Murray is taken off of the base paths. That particular type of illegal pitching where, all right, I gotta keep my feet on the ground, then that can kind of throw off your timing of the release of the ball through your motion. Ball four, has been watched galore in this inning, unfortunately, for NC State, and the Hokies jump up to a 4-1 lead. Base is loaded for the freshman. Fights it off in a right center field. Some runs are gonna score for the Hokies. Green light around third. Jamie Bailey scores and it's a two run single for the freshman from New Jersey. Now ball to second, Sykes is there. One scores though, Aldridge gets Another RBI, making her third of her career, and Emma Jackson comes in to score. Ritter, Marbury off of the hop, not in time. So the Hokies jump up by another run, it's 8-1, and Emma Ritter able to leg out that infield single, but Marbury almost had a great play. So Emma Ritter, if she scores, the ball game is over, remember the Run rule is eight by five innings. Hokies currently lead by seven. I wonder if there's any discussion to expand that run rule, just knowing how much. To be done here, Cam Fagan ends it. A walk off of sorts for Cam Fagan, and the Hokies win this one 10 to one. You gotta know that that's a potential with any of Virginia Tech's hitters, Cam Fagan included. Every hitter has that power potential at any point in the game. 
And again, I do feel like the, the run rule needs to be revisited maybe by the NCAA and, and see because teams are scoring way more runs now than even five years ago. Virginia Tech having a lot of home run game enders. You see Fagan here, back of the box, loading up. Great power, beautiful swing. Able to place it over. And the home run, scoring on the home run is exactly what we predicted Friday night, Bailey, and both teams really showed that off in the last two games, but Virginia Tech really stepping up for the, the finisher today.